can an object shot backwards while traveling forwards ever drop straight to the ground? It's a fascinating thought, but trying to prove it is bringing our physics team unraveled. Okay, either this myth is busted or our methodology's flawed. I'm pretty sure it's the latter. Okay, well, there's more than one way to fling a ball. Let's look into some other propulsion systems and figure out which one's the most reliable. All right, we could get a ball pitching machine. They actually make them for soccer balls, and as far as I know, they're pretty accurate. I've got an idea for another machine where it actually punches the ball without imparting any spin. That might help. Okay, well, let's get started and have a showdown. It sounds like a plan. Three machines, including the air cannon, competing to see which is the most consistent shooter. The soccer ball launcher is designed to reliably fire ball after ball at the same Whoa. speed, and it's working just fine. Oh! I think you got your aim. And there's work to be done on the factory floor. For machine number two, Grant needs to modify a Mythbusters favorite. Now, the last time you saw it, it had a plate affixed to the end, and it was smashing frozen heads. I must say it was a smashing success. Uh, but now it's going to become a soccer ball kicking robot. Just you wait. 10 out of 10 for lateral thinking. And you know that when Grant gets his hands on a robot, it will kick balls. Okay. Okay, all of our kicking contraptions should be complete, which is perfect because it's time for the Mythbusters World Cup, also known as calibration tests. We have our official goal right here. Back here, we have the contenders. First off, we have the ball chucker. You're already familiar with the air cannon. And finally, we have our robot kicker. Consistency was a huge problem when we did our last test. So, that's what we're testing now. Which one of these contraptions will be the most consistent at 60 miles an hour? You guys ready? Let the best machine win. Still, the early money is on the store-bought machine. The wild card here is going to be the robot kicker. I'm really anxious to see if that one has a nice consistent shoot. Personally, I think that the ball chucker is going to win on this one. No offense. Grant takes a guess at the pressure required and pumps his robot striker to 60 PSI. In three, two, one. Wow. That was a good kick. How fast did it go? 58 miles an hour. Boom, nice. we're in the ballpark. A succession of kicks gives a nice, tight cluster of numbers. We're gonna keep going and average them all out, but so far it's looking pretty good. In the end, Grant's machine has worked wonders. The kicking robot was great. It was consistent within three miles per hour. Now, moving on to the ball chucker, which, well, was actually made to chuck balls, so hopefully this will be consistent. All right, we're ready to go. Tori's already fine-tuned the speed of the tires, and from the very first ball, it looks like he's right in the zone. God, 59. It's an impressive display from the favorite, but there's still one to go. Nerds. All right, why don't we do this? Let's test the air cannon one more time. I mean, who knows? Maybe it's more consistent than the other machines. All right. Going up to nine PSI. So it comes down to these last five shots. The shootout is finished, and the result is a shock to everyone. You know what? Out of all the machines, this one looks like it's the most consistent. Yeah, I think we all know who the winner was, but just for fun, I calculated the standard deviation. You and I have really different ideas on fun. He <laughs> said fun. Go ahead. OK, this one's 1.22. This one is 2.3. And the winner and still champion, Air Can with 0.84. Oh my gosh, after all that, we have to go back to the Air Cannon. Yes. The ball speed's as close as we're going to get, but let's not forget that's just half the equation. If the speed going forward is also in doubt, we'd be fools not to fix it. And Carrie's no fool. So the solution to our speedometer problem is this. It's a tachometer. Now what we're going to do is we're going to brace it with all sorts of clamps that I've scavenged from the camera department. So it's right here against the wheel. We have some reflective tape that's going to make the laser able to pick up every revolution. And from there, we can do the math, find out exactly how fast our car is going. Now they've done all they can do to fine tune the hardware. But will Canon Reloaded reverse the results? Only time mixed with patience. Nerds! <laughs> 
will tell. I know this is possible. I mean, it's physics. But the real question is, are we going to be able to get the conditions that we need in order to show this? I mean, this is television. We can't give up until we have a shot of it actually happening. So here's where we're at. Grant's air cannon was precise enough to earn a second shot, but Carrie's replaced a possibly faulty speedometer with an incredibly accurate tachometer. This is it. We have eliminated all the variables. We have the cannon shooting at 60 miles an hour, the car driving at 60 miles an hour, just to show that this ball will drop straight down. This is it. It's go time. All right, you guys, you ready? We are ready. All right, here we go in three, two, one. Go! Look, this is a classic physics thought experiment. I mean, you've got something moving, you fire something off of that moving vehicle at the same speed, and ideally it should cancel out. But this is the real world. Ah. And the real world remains a frustratingly difficult place to do science. The cannon was fired a little too soon. This is all a bit finicky. I think we're going to have to try it a lot until we get it perfect. More tests only lead to more disappointment. Once again, Grant's timing is just off the mark, but Carrie at least sees a light at the end of the runway. I have a feeling that we are very close to a perfect demonstration. We're gonna see that ball drop. With the forward and backward momentum matched as close as they're going to get it, the pressure's on Grant for a perfect release. I don't know about you guys, but that looked pretty good to me. Let's check the high speed. It really looked good to the naked eye, but the judge in this case is the high speed. Oh my God, it's like a, it's like a cartoon. <laughs> it's just in the air, it stops and it just falls. Look at that. Fantastic. I mean, look, it, it doesn't move at all. It's going straight down. Woo! We did it, we did it. Yeah, vector edition. After three days of suffering, that single shot brings the myth to an end. I can't be happier. We actually got the speed of the car to match the speed of the soccer ball, and we got a perfect straight down drop. Ladies and gentlemen, the laws of physics are still hard at work.